All right, so coming at you with a pretty conceptual question, but we've seen this for the electric analog. I kind of like these kind of questions to verify our intuition. The statement reads, a short circular cylinder of radius A and length L carries a frozen in uniform magnetization M parallel to its axis. Find the bound current and sketch the magnetic field of the cylinder. We want this for three cases, for L greater than A, uh, by a large margin, for L much less than A, and for L approximately equal to A. And then we'll compare this to the bar magnet, we'll compare this bar magnet to the bar electric. All right, fair enough. We know what the bound, and surf bound surface and bound volume currents look like. Let's proceed. All right, so for the surface bound current, we know that uh, KB equal M cross N, which is just Z cross S, gives us M phi hat again. So now we just need to worry about what is uh, the different situations. So if L is much greater than A, this is essentially a long solenoid. For L less than A, this is essentially a physical dipole. And for L approximately equal to A, the external fields are the same as the electrical case. The internal fields inside the bar are completely different. In fact, opposite in direction. Let's sketch them out. All right, so for L greater than A, we see that we have M running um, uniformly, and K is therefore the volume or the surface charge, uh, rather the surface bound current, excuse me. Uh, and then from the surface bound current, we can take the right-hand rule, which tells us that the field is pointing in the same direction as the magnetization, and we have these long uh, enclosing loops for the field lines. All right, fair enough. Consistent outside or consistent in the middle though. Uh, now for where L is much less than A, we see that uh, the surface current runs again in the same direction, but because the outside field lines can enclose itself, that's where it looks like the physical dipole. And again, as we shrink A, we get the pure dipole. All right, now in the case where we are essentially uh, equal, K is running in the same direction, B inside the item is running parallel to M, but if we look directly outside, since, that, since all the fields have to be closed loops, B is anti-parallel to M, or running the opposite direction. So that's kind of cool to note. I like doing these graphs because it always keeps me in check, and not just in mathematics.